For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing the man cheese as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over the weekly player ratings update that goes out every Thursday at about this time. I try to, you know, do a live reaction to it. And I also like to give you my opinion on what I think about the changes of the ratings. Uh, and this is probably my favorite video. So if you guys want to see me do more of these videos, keep this up every week. Make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I like doing this video because it's my one opportunity to kind of react with uh, you guys as my audience and what I think about, you know, either what's going on in real life NFL or how EA's rating players based off what's going on in real life NFL. But this is an opportunity for me to talk real football with you guys. Nick Bosa, who previously went down a point, I think just last week to a 97, is the highest rated player to go up this week. He went up to a 98. Um, which I think he had a sack or two. I'm not really sure. I know for the season, he's still kind of having a, a lackluster season, but still a very good player. Don't have any issue with the rating. I actually had more of an issue with the ratings when it went down. Uh, one player that's going down here, which is pretty surprising, is Mika Parsons, who just went up to a 98 recently. And I'm sure that the way that EA goes up and down and fluctuates with these ratings, he'll probably back up to a 98 before long. I know he didn't do much in the Niners game. I'm guessing the entire Cowboys roster probably lost a point or two from the Niners game. I just feel like, like I said, in a week or two, he'll have a sack or two. He'll be right back up to a 98. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that. One guy that I will spend a lot of time talking about is a guy who I've been talking about every single week, and that's Chris or TJ Watt who went down last week a point, and I have no idea why, because he's having like a defensive player of the year caliber season, only to get that point back. So even after having a great game, I think he ended the game on a sack, if I remember correctly, because I was kind of half watching that and half watching other games, I think. I'm not really sure. But I think he ended that game, that comeback against the Ravens, on a sack on the last play of the game. He only gets a point boost. I keep you know, pushing in these videos, he needs to be closer to a 99. This is a guy who is a defensive player of the year. He's the all-time leading sack, uh, you know, getter in, uh, in in Pittsburgh history. That's a grand history with a great tradition of pass rushers, especially linebackers. Um, you know, the guy, he shares the record for most sacks in a season. Why is he consistently nowhere near 99? Like, that's a guy, hopefully he gets defensive player of the year this year, and they actually give him some respect and do whatever they have to do in the ratings to get him a 99. But that's something I'm going to keep pushing. Fred Warner went back up a point. I didn't understand why it went down a point. I mean, he had a massive monster game against the Cowboys. So he probably should have went up two points after that game, if I'm being honest. George Kittle, by the way, three touchdown performance, no fucking ratings boost, still a 96. So just throwing that out there to my, uh, you know, the people that follow me from the Niners. Uh, we also have Jalen Ramsey went down a point. I think it's about time. I don't know what he's doing out there. Still the highest rated cornerback. But I know that the Dolphins don't really have too good of a defense, and that's surprising considering you would think they would with a guy like Jalen Ramsey running around um, in the secondary. I mean, he's I guess he's just not the guy he used to be. I haven't watched the Dolphins too much this year. I'll watch them when the Eagles play them for sure. Uh, Roquan Smith up a point to a 95. Um, I mean, they lost the game, but he must have did something pretty good in that uh, in that contest to go up a point regardless. Uh, because, you know, the outcome is tied into the, the, the plus minus of these players. It just is what it is. Now, Mark Andrews went down. Probably didn't catch too many balls in that game. He's down to a 94. Still a really good player, though. Uh, we have Jason Kelsey, who finally went up a point. Now, this is not necessarily surprising because they did go up against Aaron Donald, and they blanked him. I don't think he was even on the stat sheet. He had three assists. Uh, not a single stat otherwise. Pressure, sack, nothing. Um, so someone on the Eagles offensive line probably deserves a boost. And based off the fact that Jason Kelsey is the most noteworthy, that's probably why he got that. But it was actually Sula Petta watching the game that was doing most of the work. I actually thought watching that game, what would it take for Aaron Donald to go down a point from a 99? I mean, I don't know what type of year he's having necessarily. But I do know that he never got a sack against the Eagles uh, because they kept talking about that during the game. Eight, eight games without a single sack. And I just thought that maybe EA would take that approach. But like I said, it would almost take something massive for him to get a ratings decline. He's been a 99 for so long. So it's good to see someone on the Eagles side get a ratings boost because of that. So he's now up to a 93, which he's been a 92 all year. Marshawn Lattimore with a big ratings boost of a plus two. I know that they smoked uh, the, the, you know, the Patriots. I don't even know if the Patriots scored. I don't think they did. I think it was 34 nothing. But uh, Marshall Latimer getting a plus two. I'm guessing he had a couple of interceptions to get a plus two because, I mean, it's not like he shut down a great receiver. So, like I said, it, they don't really have a great receiver in New England. So I'm sure that Marshawn got – I mean, I love Marshawn Latimer. I love me some Marshawn Latimer. One of my favorite corners in the game. Definitely deserves it, but I don't know what he did to get a plus two. The highest rated guy to get a plus two so far. Uh, 
after that, moving on, we have a couple more plus twos. DeMario Davis, another guy from the Saints. And I've been calling the Saints to win that division, and I'm still calling it, by the way. Been calling that since the year began. They probably have the best roster in that division. Um, although the Bucks look pretty good. But still, DeMario Davis, plus two up to a 92. Jamar Chase, plus one. They've been messing with him all year. He was a minus three, I think, this last week. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he had a pretty monster game. To only get, two, only get one point back doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm pretty sure he had, like, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure he put that team on his back to win that game. So for him to only go plus one, don't necessarily agree with that. Joe Burrow, another guy who's down uh, to a 92, had, he got no plus nothing. He's still a 92. Uh, J- Josh Jacobs down minus two. Now this makes sense because I'm waiting for that guy. W- what's going on with him, man? I-, I don't. I mean, I know the second he gets hand the ball, that Raiders line has you know lets players go right through the line and right in his face. Um, but it's also whenever you have a guy, a running back especially, that has such a heavy workload, it's hard to continue that year after year. So it's not surprising to me. He's probably, um, you know, you, you spend a guy. That's why running backs aren't getting paid because they get spent by offenses and then they get to a point where they're not good anymore. And maybe he's already there um, because I know that they were definitely running him a lot last year. They made their entire, he was basically their entire offense last year for them, you know, or at least half of it, more than half of it. Uh, moving on, Terry McLaurin down a point. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, I think he just went up that point, but I know, you know, they got, I mean, I had him as like captain on some of my DraftKings lineups and he didn't do anything. So I should, I should say, yeah, but I think Terry McLaurin's still underrated. CD Lamb going down a point to a 91 as well. I don't necessarily agree with that either. I think those guys are both pretty adequately rated. I, a little bit of an overreaction on a poor week. Frank now, uh, Frank Ragnow up another point. I think this guy's been up like three, four points in the entire year. Marlon Humphrey down two points to a 91. I mean, I like Marlon Humphrey too. Um, once again, I mean, the Ravens lost that game. I don't, I don't know. The defense wasn't really the issue though, was it? I mean, they gave up, what, like 13 points to the Steelers? I mean, they have a horrible offense, so giving up that much might be why. But still, don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, especially down two points, which, like, what do you give up? You know, maybe give up the one touchdown that ended the game. Still don't agree with it, though. Tyron Matthew, pick six, up a point. The entire Saints defense is probably up a point after that shutout. Um, so, I mean, but pick six, though. I mean, that, that may, maybe that's worth two points. Creed Humphrey down a point. I don't know why. Um, you know, consistently one of the best centers in the game. Um, pretty sure the Chiefs won the last game, too. So, uh, you know, I never understand what to do with the linemen. Denzel Ward, minus two po- or sorry, plus two points up to a 90. I know a lot of people in my comment section are always saying what's going on with Denzel Ward's rating. Well, he got a plus two, so he must have had a pretty good uh, game. Uh, hopefully they have a good game against the Niners because somebody's got to knock them off. Ronnie Staley, minus one once again. The entire Ravens unit is going down in flames. I'm guessing that the, the Cowboys are too. I haven't seen a lot of Cowboys players, though. Jordan Mailata got a plus one for the Eagles, left tackle. I thought that he started. He, I know he got a, a negative one earlier in the year, um, so it's good to see him getting a little more respect because he is one of the best left tackles, especially when it comes to run blocking in the game. Kyle Huszczyk gets a plus one uh, for the Niners. Fullback, like I said, that entire team probably got that. Stephon Gilmore, minus two. Like I said, the entire Cowboys roster is going down after that performance. So minus two to Stephon Gilmore. He's down to an 88. And, I mean, even like guys like Pollard, he didn't go down, but he, he lost some individual ratings. Uh, a little bit, so it's like the entire Dallas team. Um, you know, after they were pumping them up, they're slowing. They're slowing the roll now at uh, EA. Um, DJ Moore had a historic game, and he only went up plus one to an eighty-seven, which is a, kind of a robber. I think he had three touchdowns and like two hundred fifty plus in that game, some monster game, and only gets a plus one, which I was really expecting to see him. You know, get some big like a plus two or three, but didn't happen. Panay Sewell, uh, slowly becoming one of the best right tackles in the game. Uh, he got a plus one. Marcus Williams, free safety for the Ravens. Like I said, Ravens, for some reason, you would think they got blown out like the Cowboys because all their players are going down. Travis ATN went up a point. I think he had a like a player of the week caliber performance out in, um, you know, playing the Bills. So, I mean, that, that probably was worth a little bit more. Tua went up another point. He's been going up and down, yo-yoing. Aaron Rodgers coming back from the bench, man. Last week he went down a point. God knows why. I know I flipped shit in that video. I didn't make it. It didn't make any sense why they downgrading a guy who's injured. We well, must have did something special on injury because they gave that point right back. Aiden Hutchinson, a guy who right now has got to be in the running for defensive player of the year. He only got a one point ratings boost. He's only an 86. Like hurry up, EA. You need to start pumping some of these guys up a little bit quicker. Alex Highsmith, another guy having a monster year. He's a plus one up to an 86. C.J. Mosley, plus one to an A6. Uh, we have Christian Derrishaw, left tackle for the Vikings, plus one up to an A6. James Bradbury, plus one up to an 86. Another eagle. Uh, Jimmy Ward, minus one down on A6. Jonathan Taylor, 
So how the fuck is Jonathan Taylor in 86? I mean, that guy's one of the best running backs in the game. He's barely played, and somehow he's all the way down in 86. What a, what a steal that is if you uh, can get him for, for you know, A6 overall price in a CFM or something like that. Quandre Diggs, plus one up to an A6. Um, lots of players here that, uh, you know, rings don't necessarily make a ton of sense. But I'm not going to go much further. I know Brock Purdy had a really sizable boost. Um, I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to look him up. Because, I mean, obviously the Niners will always get better as that quarterback situation gets better. Uh, and, you know, Brock Purdy is probably the best option, although they have a backup quarterback with a pretty decent throw power that might be better. But Brock Purdy gets a plus three. He's up to an 82, one of the biggest jumpers of the day. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go end the video there. If you guys want to see this video every week, like I said, I, I do it every week. It gives me an opportunity to talk about what happened in the NFL Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.